Hey guys, it's Friday, and you know what that means. It's time for another episode of Click Tips. Click Tips where we give you quick tips that'll make you more productive throughout your day. This week, we're going to be looking at the brand new table view, and we got a lot to cover, so let's jump right into it. So if you've been looking for a database style view in ClickUp, look no further because we finally added table view. So to go ahead and create it, you'll come up here and you'll click add view and you'll come down to table and you'll add it. Now table view is great because it gives you a really condensed view of a lot of information very quickly. So as you can see here, we have all of the tasks that are in my space and to jump into tasks, you'll just click this little button right here to open them up. And you can really customize this view to be what you want. So if you want to hide any specific columns, you just come here and you can uncheck them. So let's say we don't want priority to show. We can just uncheck it or we can add it back. And then you can also come up here to um, add columns if you want to. Uh, you can set priority, change due date, things like that from right here. Um, you can bulk change tasks and even move them around. So let's say we want to move these two down here. No problem at all. You have the ability to copy and paste tasks into other services. So if we wanted to put this into Google Sheets, we could just come here and paste all that information right in. You can also paste into Excel. Um, at this point in time, you're not able to paste from there into ClickUp, but that is something that may be coming in the future. And up at the top of table view, you have your options for how you want to group it, whether or not you want to show or hide subtasks. You have the ability to enter me mode or everyone mode. You have your typical sharing abilities, which will let you publicly share your table. And then you also have the ability to change row height. So let's say that this is a little bit too small for your liking. You can bump that size up all the way up to huge, which is quite large. And this will allow you a little bit more information um, in each of your tasks that you'll be able to view. And then if you come over here, you can export this view. So let's say um, a client wants an export of all the tasks you're working on and they don't they don't have any interest in uh, being a guest in your ClickUp account. This will allow you to give them a full export of all the tasks that are in their list or folder. So that way they can see everything that you plan to be working on. One final thing that I did want to go ahead and touch on, uh, touch on is that um, you can also calculate from the bottom of your table. So if we see here, I have this job amount column. We go all the way down. I can go ahead and calculate it. And you know, you'll get your normal sum, average, and range uh, to select. And then if you calculate it, you'll see that the total amount appears down there on the bottom. But yeah, that's all I got for you this week, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.